All right, this last one's pretty short. Uh, it's, this one's about splitting fractions. It's an example, that, a type of example we haven't done yet. Uh, we're going to start with the left-hand side because that's the thing that we're doing is splitting that fraction. So we're going to start there. And in order to split a fraction, we think about what if we were to do the opposite of subtract, and what if we were to go backwards and split it up with the common denominator, which would be sine. So in this case, what that means is that I would have 1 over sine minus cosine over sine. So I'm splitting it up, putting the denominator is just going in the reverse of subtracting like we've done already. Uh, then once we're at this point, it's really just one more step because 1 over sine is the same thing as cosecant, that's a reciprocal identity, and then cosine over sine is the same thing as cotangent because that is a quotient identity, and this is what we're looking for on the right hand side. So really uh, just a simple two-step proof in this particular case.